so if you all right so we're back okay hey <laughs> youtubers <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Alpha from the calculator said it was what? 2.86? 2.87 degrees. So make sure you have your calculator in radiant or degree mode to do this thing. Here, this is uh, 2.87 degrees, okay? So that means right now, shoot, this is, uh, uh, we've got, I'm going to redraw this so that it's a little bit clearer. I have here B. I'm going to exaggerate this angle alpha, obviously, just a function of what I chose. But this, uh, um, let me draw a dotted line here. This angle is 2.87 degrees. And we have a velocity vector here that is 60 degrees from the horizontal. And and I would draw, oh, hopefully I'm going to do this right. Okay, so I am going to, I, I'm going to assume that this is, is going in some direction left or right okay so it could it actually could, it's going to go along this line this point right here this point um whatever you call it point c is moving along the horizontal and so the velocity vector i'm going to try to assemble that triangle is going to be i'm going to draw a line perpendicular to that velocity vector here and then another line perpendicular to this velocity vector uh oh uh oh okay and so here this is my instantaneous center of rotation for these two points and here is my this is my point C over here and this is my point B over here okay point B and point C okay and and really what I've got to find okay is let's see let me small let me erase some of this to clarify this triangle okay I, I, I really need to know this angle or I need to know some angles so I can figure out these arms or these lengths. This R, C, I, C, and this length here, this length right here, this R, B, I, C, okay? Now, I know this angle right away. What's that angle right there? It's just 87 degrees or is that 87 point like 1, 3? 1, 3 degrees there. Just 90 minus that angle. And let's see, do I, I know one length. I know this length right here is 10 meters, okay? Uh, let's see, is that still, that's not enough information to figure out everything else. I'm going to need one more angle. And let's see, I know that from before, I know here, uh huh? 10, no, no, it's not a 90, so you can't use any 90 stuff. So this angle right here, we know is 30 degrees, right? Okay, and uh, uh, here, and that makes, if I draw a straight line here, this is, uh, uh, this is 60 degrees. Let's see here, what am I missing? Oh, yeah, 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 from, par thank you, very good, yes. So from here, this angle right here is also 2.87 degrees good right and this is 30 this is 60 oh shoot okay oh right here and this angle right here which I'll do three lines is 30 yes right and so this total angle which I will put in red is 32.87 degrees fantastic okay so with a little complicated with a little complicated geometry any problem you can solve Okay, right? And so now we use the law of sines to get all these other lengths. So here we have, uh, um, let's see, uh, sine of 32.87 degrees over RC IC is equal to the sine of 87. Wait, do I have enough information? I do, right? 87.13 degrees over RBIC is equal to sine of this angle, which I'll call, I thought I called that gamma, gamma over 10 meters, okay? And, uh, uh, that gamma will be 60 degrees, okay? This gamma, really? 
Oh yeah, stupid. Duh. Okay, in the triangle. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, right? You always forget the the simple stuff, right? So all the angles in the triangle sum 180. I was just trying to trick you. All right. So gamma is equal to what is this? 60. Oh, that worked out nice. So then RCIC working this is equal to what? Can someone give me a number? Gosh. I don't know. Some number. You can calculate it, right? So we know gamma. This is 60. All right. And then RBIC is some number. Anybody with numbers? 6.27. 11.53 meters. Good, right? And now this, this messy nightmare, right? Well, if I know my velocity of B is going this way right here, which way is C going to go? It's going to go to the right, right? Because if I, if the only way that my velocity can go this way from the instantaneous center of rotation is to have my, velo my angular velocity go like this, okay? All right, that's the only way that B can go downwards is if my angular velocity is rotating up, like that counterclockwise, okay? And, and then I would have here, I can, I can use my, my instantaneous center, so this would be VB over RB IC is equal to VC over RC IC, and this is also equal to omega BC, okay? So I can use this relationship to solve for VC and for omega BC, all right? So VC is equal to RBIC, which is 11.53 meters over 6.27 meters times um, the velocity of B. Whatever, what was the velocity of B? We said it was one meter per second. Is that right? One meter per second. So that is, so here, this is one meter per second and one meter per second. And punching into my calculator, this comes out to what? 1.84 meters per second and then um, omega is just a VB which was one meter per second over and this is omega BC over uh, whatever that distance RBIC was 6.27 no 11.53 meters and what is that some insanely small number like 0.1 or 0.01 I don't know 0.1 10 percent 0.087 radians per second okay and and we would say this is here and this is to the right and we'd be done okay all right and then you could have done this with the relative velocity analysis too so you could try that at home